Okay, welcome. Today we are going to check if the current through a diode is linear um, with the voltage drop. And if it's not linear, the current through the diode, it, perhaps it is linear low if we take the, lo um, the logarithm of the current of it. But that is all a little bit complicated formulated. Let's just see it here. We have a 1N4007 uh, regular diode. Here the gray marker is where, um, where our forward direction would go, so in this direction. Um, one can also say that's where the cathode should be. And then we are, I have this nice little circuit here where I have a voltage divider. You see with the blue a digital multimeter, I'm measuring what voltage is between this resistor end here and the ground. Um, and then I have another multimeter which is not yet connected where I measure the current through the diode. And so we first thing we do is we insert our diode into the circuit. Let's put it here close to the resistor, connected to the resistor, then connected here. Very nice. Um, and now we need to measure the current through this. So we are going to attach the first test lead here. And then um, the second test lead would attach to ground. So we need some kind of ground pin still. Grab it from another project. So we have here ground. Let's connect the ground pin. And you know what? I want to connect <laughs> the black test lead to the ground pin. Seems more natural to me. Um, so we don't measure negative uh, current as such. Okay. And um, so I want to turn up the voltage with this potentiometer until we have some reasonable microampere value because 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 sometimes flickering. It's kind of a volt uh, a multimeter offset perhaps not relevant so let's turn it up a little yeah this is a good first value i think um we have let's say here we have millivolts and on the lower scale we have micro ampere and so we have 373 um uh, micro volts and we have seven micro ampere first value take another one 443 and 36.4 then next value Here, 500. Uh, and 121. Yeah, 121 straight. So let's take this one, 539. And 242. Six hundred eleven we have six hundred sixty two
660. And 1098. And uh, let's switch the range to milliampere here. Six hundred eighty one and we have um, four point six eight so four thousand six hundred <laughs> and eighty we had just one last measurement for example. So at 725, we have uh, 10, 10,010 microampere. Let's see what would happen if we could turn it even higher in the maximum rating. It's always around. Not more than 50 milliampere of the dial. Mm -hmm. And so perhaps we write this last value 777. And we have 20,519. Okay. And that's the measuring session. Now we can take these values into the computer and see what kind of graph this results in. And as you can see here, um, I've used this cool Desmos plotting tool and all the values uh, that we formerly had on the paper I have here to the left in that table. And um, if you look at the graph to the right, you see that we are very close when we higher the voltage to around 500 millivolt and then we get up. And once we reach uh, 567, once we reach 700 millivolt, then uh, we are at around five um, uh, five milliampere, and once we are at zero point eight, around from the taking from the graphs um, around at eight hundred millivolt, then we go all the way up around of twenty milliampere. So, and that's just um, one notable thing about um, perhaps a diode. Uh, 1N4007, for example, here, that it makes um, a 100 millivolt difference if you are at uh, 0.7, um, 0.7 volt or at 0.8 volt. Um, it's very much dependent how much milliampere you put through the diode. If you put um, like 5 milliampere, or 20 milliampere through, through it, and that's the difference between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. Most of the time, people use approximation of 0.7 uh, for a drop uh, across the diode. Uh, yeah, but could also be 0.8. Uh, depends very much on the current here. Um, if you care about uh, like a 0.1 volt uh, difference in your calculations and your practical applications. Okay, now uh, next I have drawn it also as a logarithmic uh, diagram. Let's look at this one. Yeah, and as you see here on a logarithmic uh, graph, these points nearly line up in, in a line and cutting on the x-axis, then somewhere around, uh, I don't know, around 200 something millivolts. If you have some kind of explanation for this, you can, um, you can then um, um, uh, write a comment down below. I'm no, not I'm not so much into the topic now, but hey, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next video.